Gonna put a touch of gold on this and a touch of metallic green kind of in the belly, just a little bit, not too much. Now I've got to get the clear coat on him. I uh, got some 30 minute epoxy instead of the five minute epoxy because I keep, with these big guys, I can never get the full thing before it starts hardening up on me. I end up with lumpy results and it's not pretty. So I'm gonna try some 30 minute epoxy, but before I can do that, I'm gonna have to build myself a rotisserie to rotate this guy because I can't just hold on to him for 30 minutes walking around while that uh, evens out and spinning it manually like I did before. So I've got a little bit of a project to do before I can clear coat this guy. I use these trash brushes because they're 49 cents a piece, nice and cheap because one time use with this epoxy. But I learned pretty quickly that you gotta pull on them a lot and get rid of all these loose bristles. You end up getting that, they, they end up shedding off and ending up in your clear coat if you don't.
still got a bristle in there. Pulled on that a lot, still ended up with bristles. This thing, this stuff is turning solid yellow. Not the greatest stuff in the world, I would say. I was just wondering what I could use the extra from. Oh, look at that, melting the cup now. Cup is melted. I mean, this isn't the ideal cup to be using for this, but holy crap. Stuff just got thick on me real quick. It's very hot, very melting the cup best I can do for right now. Just let her sit for a long ass time. This guy turned out pretty good though. Mm, that is nice and clear. Nice and smooth. I'm gonna have to put a new bolt in this because you know I kind of fashioned it and it was tighter when I started but as I screwed it into the wood, I think it uh, misshapened a little bit, and now it's not as tight of a fit as it was when I first put it together. It still works. I mean, I, I don't think it's that bad for just taking a bunch of scrap wood around the garage and kind of cobbling something together with no plans to begin with. Just kind of made it up as I went. It'll get the job done for now. So I took the hooks off this guy. Pretty big failures on my part. Uh, the uh, brown trout's not gonna get hooks either. I tested this in the water yesterday and it just, it doesn't swim. It stays upright as it sinks, but when you pull, it does not stay upright. It, it's still too top heavy. The belly weight's not enough. It just spins out as you're pulling it in. So it doesn't work at all. Uh, and, and, and the brown trout is identical to this, so it's gonna do the same thing. The wooden one I made as a toy for my daughter would probably work because it's wood, it's gonna float, it's buoyant, and it's got weight in the belly. So that one would probably work. These would probably work if I was able to hollow the top somehow. This, it, the problem, main problem is that this plastic is extremely dense and heavy and it sinks even if there's no weight in it. So I have a lot of weight in the belly to try and keep it upright, which kind of works, but it needed a lot more for that to actually stay upright as you're pulling too. Uh, so, you know, all of these are becoming toys for my kids. You know, my son's gonna take one of these. My daughter's got one or two of them. You know, they'll, they'll play with the three of them. And, um, <laughs> well, that's that. So no, uh, no functioning lures out of all any of these, but uh, I'm gonna keep experimenting and uh, see what happens. And maybe, you know, I should uh, probably do some experiments before I go to the trouble of painting them up like this too. You know, test out some things with some blanks, you know, before I go to this trouble. I mean, these, these turn out really nice and, and you know, n learning to airbrush uh, you know, it was good practice, so, you know, I don't mind, you know, having, and plus these are nice little, little toys the kids like, you know, but, you know, all in all, it's a learning experience, I'll figure it out.
something that's really weird is you know now i'm using the 30 minute epoxy and that seems to be a lot tougher which is good it's like two ton epoxy it's called the five minute epoxy i mean look at these bubbles it's not adhering it's coming up just the heat of the sun is bubbling my lures uh, that have the five minute epoxy on it it's pretty discouraging so i'm glad i'm not using the five minute epoxy anymore for these So kind of the opposite of what I normally do. These are not going in the box. In fact, they're coming out. Ha, ha, ha. 